everyone. This is Janet Black with Love and Blink Designs. And I wanted to show you how I make my um, Star Wars theme tumblers. Um, so, with no further ado, um, what we do is um, I use Dixie cups for measuring my epoxies. I know a lot of people use those uh, rubber measuring cups. I've tried those before. They weren't the greatest. It was hard to, once you use them once, then you have to let it dry and the A side or B side really doesn't dry that well. And so I use Dixie cups. And what I do is I make my little notch here with a marker of where I want both sides to, to equal to. See? So here's A, B. Um, I do use a heat gun to um, heat just one little batch, one little notch to heat up both A and B just so they're warm and the bubbles come to surface. And then when that happens, I, um, I mix the B with the A. That's just the way I do it. I like doing it that way. Um, the A side is the A side of epoxy is thicker in consistency and the B side is a little more runnier. So I want the B side to mix with the A side. Um, and I scrape out as much as I can with my popsicle stick. I get every little bit out of that Dixie cup. So this, the epoxy I'm using is a um, KS resin liquid stone. So it is a little thicker to, tur to stir um, and get mixed. Um, unlike your usual alumilite or the KS resin art resin. There are more, uh, there are less consistency. So, um, I'll just stir this here. I know a lot of people go slow with their stick. I'm a more of a, I'm impatient. <laughs> Let's just say that I'm impatient. And I know I'm going to get some bubbles in this, but you'll see with the, with your uh, torch, it really helps with the KS liquid stone resin because it is a thicker consistency resin that torch is really going to help to get those bubbles out but you need to do it the moment you put it on and a little afterwards too okay so i think i mixed well enough just one more time okay so let's turn our turner on this is um, uh, just a 30 ounce hog tumbler and I spray paint it black. Of course I prep it first and then I spray paint it black. Um, I use just regular old gloves. So before I start spreading any on though, I do want to make my um, clouds, I guess you could say, for the Star Wars theme. So I'm going to take some of my mixed epoxy into another Dixie cup, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm wanting to use Glitter Chimps Jasmine mica powder. Just a little spoon full. I got these little spoons from Amazon if everybody wants to know where I got these little measuring little spoons for my mica powder. I'm going to mix that with a drop, just one little drop of white acrylic paint. Boop. And just to give it some shimmer, I've been using a little drop of the, um, what is that, Pinata Pearl uh, alcohol ink inside my little cup of epoxy. So you'd want to measure, you want to mix up those items together. And I do this before, so I'm not having to stop and mix all this stuff. So this is going to go pretty quick after I start this. Okay, so that's all mixed. Now I'm going to spread my epoxy on my tumbler. And I make it pretty thick. I do, I make it pretty thick. This liquid stone, it has a like glass-like finish. And you could easily do this with um, 
Alumalite because you're going to have, you know, this is just your initial coat on your tumbler. So you're going to have, um, oh, let's see, this and then, yeah, you're going to have three coats total of actual epoxy on this tumbler. With every tumbler, pretty much, I give, I have about three coats of epoxy. First, my initial coat with the glitter or whatever, and then the second coat. Basically, sometimes I need a second coat to smooth the surface to put decals on and they go on smoothly. Um, you know, so I'm just kind of Sometimes I'm grabbing the extra, and now um, now that it's, I feel it's pretty coated, I'm going to go in and pour this cup, not all of it though, just drizzling it on the mug itself, the tumbler. And that's it, just a thin drizzle. Now I'm gonna let that spin a while, just a little bit. I'm gonna put this aside. Let this spin. And for my Star Wars, I use the also Glitter Chimp, you see that deep space glitter. And I'm just going to spread that out. Um, right now, before I do that, I'm going to give the cup a little torch, real quick motion. I think I'm torch happy sometimes. Um, because I do this quite often, and I, I just don't like to see bubbles at all. Um, so, yeah. So I'm gonna let this spin a while, a little bit. I see a little dot right there, cover that up. So, I'm gonna stir this a little bit, make sure it's still good. So now that that is spinning and getting flat, oh, I see a little dot, oh, get that off of there. Um, getting, you know, even, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glitter on here. Just, it's just not, not it's not like overly coated, you know, it's just supposed to be like the sky and, oh, and, this, and the space and just boop, that's all I'm doing is just Pat in the butt, like that at the bottom. And I just kind of do this. Just scrape the excess off. Because it's not supposed to coat the entire cup. You're going to see part of the black paint in the background, which is not a big deal. Because we don't want this completely coated with the space glitter. Okay, now while it's spinning, I'm going to now use my, make, my, my mixture of epoxy uh, glitter. Or excuse me, epoxy the pearl alcohol ink and a drop of the acrylic. Basically, I just make little circles. Every so often I'll make a little circle. No, no rhyme or reason. I'm telling you no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever I think looks good. And it will change. It will change just slightly as it's spinning and as I do this torch again. It's going to um, change its con its ticks, um, you know, where it is. So like I like I don't like this lump. I'm just gonna extend it a little bit further, just with the edge of the toothpick or the popsicle stick. And I think we need something right there. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't like to do too much sky. I can see that. I don't like to see too much, you know, um, space. So I'm going to go over it again now. Just with my torch. And I think that's good. There's no bubbles. Um, I have this extra part, a little bit of extra epoxy. I'm just going to either, I'll probably put it in a mold. And I might have to do that right now because the um, the chaos resin liquid stone is thick, and it will um, it does not. 
I would say that the Alumalite and the KS Art Resin allows you to um, work on your artwork for a longer period of time before it starts getting warm and activating. And this one is a lot less time. Uh, you don't get that much time with um, using the extra. You really kind of have to be in a hurry. So um, I'm going to take this extra white I had. And I'm going to put it in a mold. But that's what um, the little Star Wars themed tumblers I do look like and how I create them. And I just wanted to share that video with anyone who's thinking of doing some Star Wars themed cups and how to do the cloudy space look. The um, Glitter Chimp um, Deep Space Glitter is awesome. Um, I like the way it does that holographic uh, ultra fine glitter. I like the way it looks, has that look to it. Um, and the uh, Pinata Pearl alcohol ink really helps with the clouds. So it's not too white. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and um, check out for, for many more videos in the future. Thanks. Bye.